Hey Munchkin, I've got a new story for you tonight. It's called The Race Between the Crane and the Hummingbird. It's a lovely little story from Cherokee legend. The hummingbird and the crane were both in love with a pretty woman. She preferred the hummingbird, who was as handsome as Crane was awkward. But the crane was so persistent that in order to get him, she finally told him that he must challenge the other to a race and she would marry the winner. The hummingbird was so swift, almost like a flash of lightning. And the crane was so slow and heavy that she felt sure the hummingbird would win. She did not know that crane would fly all night. They agreed to start from her house and fly around the circle of the world to the beginning. And the one who came in first would marry the woman. At the word, the hummingbird darted off like an arrow and was out of sight in a moment. Leaving his rival to follow heavily behind. He flew all day. And when evening came, he stopped to roost for the night. He was very far ahead. But the crane flew steadily all night long, passing the hummingbird soon after midnight, and going on until he came to a creek and stopped to rest about daylight. The hummingbird woke up in the morning and flew on again, thinking how easily he could win the race until he reached the creek where he found the crane spearing tadpoles with his long bill for breakfast. He was very much surprised and wondered how this could have happened, but he flew swiftly by and soon left the crane out of sight again. The crane finished his breakfast and started on, and when evening came he kept on as before. This time it was hardly midnight when he passed Hummingbird asleep on a limb, and in the morning he had finished his breakfast before the other came up. The very next day he gained a little more, and on the fourth day he was spearing tadpoles for dinner when the hummingbird passed him. On the fifth and sixth days it was late in the afternoon before hummingbird came up, and on the morning of the seventh day the crane was a whole night's travel ahead. He took his time at breakfast and then fixed himself up as nicely as he could at the creek and came in at the starting place where the woman lived early in the morning. When the hummingbird arrived in the afternoon, he found that he had lost the race. But the woman declared she would never have such an ugly fellow as the crane for a husband, and so she stayed single. Alrighty, that's tonight's story. Sweet dreams, and don't forget to brush your teeth.